Dave Stanton, 208 Century Hill Drive, Loveland, Ohio. Let's take a moment to understand the decisions made by this commission and that have both short-term and long-term impacts on the Loveland community, both positive and negative. What may look like, what may look good on a zoning map for rezoning and what a developer is wanting to develop may not always be in the best interest of the city of Loveland and the city homeowners and taxpayers. This commission needs to have a full understanding of the impacts on our existing infrastructure, impacts on the traffic, impacts on the bigger investment people, the biggest investment people make in Loveland with their homes, and the impacts on the city's finances before any SPD rezoning request can have a decision be made. What you have in front of you is a financial analysis report focused on the impact of adding an additional 209 homes, both in property tax and income tax. The information in the report is comprised from public data and supporting documentation from the city. As you can see from the property and income tax summary, the City of Loveland's annual property tax income for the 209 homes would be $255,660. The additional cost to the City of Loveland to fully support the Dries development with police, fire, EMS, roads, and maintenance would be $294,099. This creates a deficit in spending of $38,000, a negative $38,440 annually against the property tax revenue income. The property tax analysis supported detail is included in the financial report. The City of Loveland's annual income tax revenue for the 209 homes would be $105,300 based on 135 homes with a median income of $150,000. 74 patio homes would be retirees who pay no income tax. As confirmed with Mark Medler, Director of Finance, only 52% of working Loveland residents pay Loveland income tax. The 2022 City of Loveland budget is $7,965,755. The 2021 City Loveland population is 13,485, which equates to $590.71 per resident in budget expenditures. In using conservative numbers in the increase to the City of Loveland population based on the Dries development, would be 620.5 additional residents. With this 4.6% in increase in the population to a total of 14,106 residents at $590.71 per resident would increase the city's annual expense budget to $8,332,292. The increase in the city's budget of 366,537 to cover the new residents in comparing the city's income tax from the Dries development of $105,300. This creates a deficit in expense spending of negative $261,237. The income tax analysis supported detail is included in the financial report. This financial analysis doesn't include additional expenses that I would hope this, if this SPD was be considered to move forward, that Dries would have to pay for. Regarding Dries would need to pay for improvements to O'Banion Road to handle the additional traffic and pay for the half mile of MSD sewer upgrade on O'Banion Road through downtown Loveland. As MSD has no capital funds to pay for this sewer upgrade, and Dries has stated in their April 22nd letter to the city of Loveland regarding infrastructure, their responsibilities would be on Dries to make the necessary improvements. The city should bear no cost for the MSD sewer upgrade and road improvements to O'Banion Road and not even consider doing assessments against properties being built on if this SPD uh, is approved because it takes 20 years. That's a no interest loan you're giving to the developer. We're not in the no interest loan business as city taxpayers. As you can see from the financial analysis showing the negative impact to the city of Loveland's expenses with regards to property and income tax revenue, this is not a good investment for the taxpayers of Loveland and reflects deficit spending. Going back to my opening statement, understand the decisions made by this commission have both short-term and long-term impacts on the Loveland community. A decision that was made by this commission 
on the rezoning to multifamily for medium residential for Blossom Hill has had a direct negative impact on Century Hill homes. Your decisions have made some of the Century Hill homes unsellable based on your rezoning recommendations with multifamily uh, structures being built right next to Century Hill. So again, think about your decisions being made and the full understanding of the impact of the city and the people of Loveland. Thank you. Thank you.